Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. She's a stellar award-winning gospel artist who first got our attention with her chart-topping debut album, The Truth. Now, after a four-year hiatus, she's on pace to release her sophomore album, The Gathering. Take a look and a listen. If you are with me, whom shall I? Thank Child. you very much. The people say you are an ATL native. I am. Okay, we got Rashawn Ali that's down to the circle who is an uh, ATL native. Absolutely. And she con constantly reminds us of her ATL. And she should. <laughs> yes. So, <laughs> so how have you been able to incorporate your atl -ian into your gospel music? Yo, I, I'm proud to be from Atlanta, so mm -hmm. I get it, I get it. And I grew up here, my family is here, we've been here for generations, we were sharecroppers mm. in Georgia, so for me, it's really deep roots, and the depth of that is honestly servitude. Mm. Oh, my family's been doing that for years, giving of themselves, giving of their time, and so I'm honored that I'm able to do that and extend that to yes. other people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, yes. Again, we were talking about servitude and giving up your time. You were an elementary school teacher. I was. Oh, you found out. Oh, yes. We <laughs> dig all the way into the business and see y'all come on to the circle. So how was that experience for you? And how does that segue into your music? Definitely. I, I love I love teaching. Mm -hmm. And that's at the heart of everything I do. I don't think that I have escaped that or gone to a different realm. I just am teaching on a different platform. All right, yes. So for me, I was gracious and I was thankful when I was inside mm -hmm. of a classroom. And I'm gracious and I'm thankful for the platform that God has given me now. Oh, what ages? Yeah. What ages did you First teach? grade. Oh, that's such a cute age. Short. Oh, and well, then they grow up and Kneecaps become mean and below. <laughs> mm -mm, not that one. I didn't okay, get the, no. Not the mean ages. Not the mean ages. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because then that middle age is oh. real. It's like a... It's mm -hmm. like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's something is wrong. It's, it's something real special. Shady. It yeah. gets a little, yes, I get yeah. them when they're young and then I release them to you all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Casey, it's been four years since the yeah. release of your new album, The Gathering. Yeah. And your freshman album, The Truth. Yeah. Uh, was that break from the spotlight intentional or something that happened um, that happened to happen to you through your trend? Like what happened through what happened to you? Girl, get it together. I got you. Through your transition yeah. of taking that time. I, I think in the music industry, you guys know it's so about every two years you're popping out another record. Right. Mm. Well, sometimes. People, sometimes. Yeah. Or four. Yeah. Or six. <laughs> or <laughs> ten. <Yeah>. Exactly. <laughs> so and people don't realize when I put out my first record, I was still teaching full time. Okay. Mm. I was literally in the classroom and the record was out right. and available. So I really have been trying to catch up with the success of the first record and I think honestly stewardship is not just what we do with the mic in our hand mm -hmm. it's making sure that we have the right lawyer it's making sure that we're incorporated it's making sure we know about publishing and all of that is still worship you are, you are called so to the platform gems. listen like you you can't just sing and put the mic down and say well I don't know about this contract yes. it doesn't work that way it sure does and so for me I've spent time learning about that mm -hmm. and for me I am not a songwriter I'm a song carrier so I write what God says Ooh. So I speak when he speaks, when he doesn't, I don't. I know, that's <laughs> so right. So that right. takes four years. If it takes 24 years, you I'm going to wait. You got to wait on the loop. Yeah. Come on, somebody. <laughs> okay, no, that's a word. <laughs> <and> I'm, <laughs> <gonna get that. laughs> I'm telling you, we're down to the church <laughs> at the circle. At I'm the glad. Circle. I'm yes. happy to bring it. <laughs> well, you know, let's talk about, speaking of bring it, let's talk about The Gathering, yeah. your new album. Yeah. So tell us the direction of this new album, and how does it differ yeah. from the very first one that you've done? Absolutely. Um, Probably the biggest difference is I didn't record at a church. I and record in the studio. Mm -hmm. I took about 50 friends to a farm outside of Atlanta and we recorded the whole record outside. What? Wow. Yeah, there's a verse in Acts 4 that says that after they had prayed, the place where they were gathered together became shaken and they were filled with the Holy Spirit and they walked away speaking the word of God with boldness. I believe that's a present promise and it's not just for Sunday morning. Oh, you better so guess. So we took people on a Tuesday afternoon, we laid out on the floor, we had s'mores and a bonfire, and we recorded everything outside because God is not just for Sunday. Yeah, I He's not for the elite, he's not for suits and ties, he's for the hungry. Mm. And wherever they gather, he meets us, and we prove that with the gathering. And is that how you got the title of it? Yeah, yeah, That's so the cute. gathering was an actual event. We were there at the gathering in Atlanta because I'm an AT alien. Yes, yes ma'am. Uh-huh, I had I like to stay that. here. <laughs> 
Yeah, and I believe that promise of Acts 4 that anytime we gather at Sister Circle, if we gather on Sunday morning, that God will meet us there. Mm. Yeah. Casey, I just absolutely love you. Thank I, you. I, I swear to God, you could just, I can hear I you. I love you. I can listen to you and talk your earrings. all day. Girl, like, the shot. Okay. Right. That was okay. just okay. a sidebar. We'll, we'll talk about that <laughs> okay. in the back. Um, okay, so last question. Yeah. What, how important do you think it is to bridge the gap between our youth, our generation now, and the church, the old routines of the church? Yeah, I think there's this sort of, this narrative around millennials and young people that we are not interested yeah. in the things of the church, but I think the truth is that we are inundated with information, yes. and what we can do really quickly is know when something is fake. Mm -hmm. So it's not that <laughs> they don't want the church, they can't sit under stuff that's not really the word. They're checking, they got an app, that can go right in and see if you're actually talking about the word. Checking, huh? So what millennials are doing are holding us accountable. Mm. Yes. I like it a lot. I'm telling you, we could be here with you all day. But oh, I love y'all. Back. Back. KCJ, thank you so much for joining us. You can pick up KCJ's new album, The Gathering, in stores and online. Yep. Next up, we will break down how we as women need to do a better job of supporting one another in our full circle. And G Regina Bell will be uh, joining us. I love her. So stay with us, because it's going to be lit. <laughs> <Boom>. <laughs> Okay. <laughs>